Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Tim Anderson here, aka Renfail, and welcome to the latest episode of Lord of the Rings Online, where I am adventuring with Telamar, the High Elf Loremaster, as he adventures throughout the realms of Middle Earth. And today we are back in Bree at the request of Dalton Willow, our Loremaster trainer. He sent us a letter in the mail and requested that we return to him. Apparently, he has something he wishes to teach us. Um, this is the level 30 lore master quest and we're going to be proceeding forthwith if you like the types of videos you see on my channel please don't forget to subscribe hit the bell icon to get updates for when i am either going live with streams or when the next latest video has become available and follow along as we continue to play rpgs read books talk about movies and other things that we do here on my channel all right Let's talk to Dalton. Current quests of what a matter of course. Excellent. You came, and quickly. I was afraid that you would choose to chase another fancy. Well then, listen closely, for this is important. Could I speak with you a moment? Isferon at the refuge of Dulon. Dwilon, excuse me, and Ered Lewin has come into possession of a puzzle that he hopes a true lore master will be able to solve. He has kept the details to himself, but if you were to seek him out, I am sure the puzzle would be of interest to you. Isferon himself is a most learned lore master. I wonder what puzzle could evade his understanding. Ooh, we're going to get to choose one. I don't like the look of the staff. I'm probably not going to pick the staff because I can make my own staffs. Yeah, I'm probably taking the cloak, even though the graphic doesn't look that groovy. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna have to check what I can craft um, and go from there. Okay, we need to go out and probably downstairs is the best way because we gotta go to the horse and ride back to Erdluin or Duilon. I think it's pronounced Duilon. All right, just gonna ride up and right away. Alright, Mr. Do Rosewood, you? you're going to send me to Selendum, please. I do for you. Now this quest, because I've done it before, many, many years ago, uh, I do vaguely remember this, and you can find the walkthroughs online at your uh, disposal if you want to. Basically, we're going to be sent out to look for some items around the world. Now, if you were doing this for the very first time many, many years ago, this was something that uh, was quite challenging, given the fact that it's based on uh, riddles. And you have to find the locations, but I don't want to spoil too much until we get to it, so let's take a look here.
Here's our lore master, Isferon. Hail, friend, and well met. You have heard of my puzzle, Telemar. I do not know why I cannot discover the solution. I, who have studied the arts of flame and ash and the mysteries of cinders and coal. My friend Baronin despaired of Middle-earth and sailed west some time ago. He left me three small boxes and said that when I was able to solve the riddles he left in my possession, I would be able to open them. I grieve that Baronin has gone and would learn what secrets he has left to me, but I am unable to determine the solution to the riddles. Poultices and mixes are my prime interests, not word games and trifles. I am sure that Baron left the keys to each box at the locations that solve each riddle, but where these may be, I do not know. I will give you the first riddle, and if you can bring me the key, then I will give you the second riddle, and we will continue in this fashion until we have learned what secrets Baron left for me when he sailed west. I will give you the first riddle and wish you good fortune in deciphering it. She runs through the blue, the shadow of a passage falls over her. On one hand, a silent guardian. Now, for those who might not have ever played this game, all these clues are location based. So unless you had explored the game to some degree, it'd be really hard to figure out what this is talking about. But basically it's describing, um, well, it's describing a waterfall basically. And if we look at the map here, it's gonna be down here, I believe. And you do not get any sort of uh, waypoints for these, so you have to search around and know what you're looking for. And even I don't know exactly, so bear with me here. Alright, see that statue down there? I think that's where we're heading. She runs through the blue, the shadow of a passage falls over her. On the one hand on one hand, a silent guardian. So these riddles are somewhat you know she runs through the blue. I don't quite understand what blue are we talking about. A shadow of passage runs over her. That makes sense. It's a bridge. On the one hand, a silent guardian. So a shield is a silent guardian. So a couple of the clues kind of make sense. But uh, not entirely. So that's the location of the first key. We gotta bring that back to Isferon. Now, this lore master quest does involve quite a bit of running back and forth. Uh, it's a little different than a lot of the other class quests because many of the other class quests take you straight into an instance, and you know you're done in. 10-15 minutes. Uh, the lore master ones, by comparison, are quite involved. If you remember the level 15 lore master quest, uh, we had to search for pages. Uh, if you did it the right way, you were supposed to look for pages off of uh, men and goblins and the like in Breelands to get clues to figure out which bookcase you were supposed to click inside the instance. Whereas, you know, we're, we're dealing with a 13-year-old game, so I just <laughs> looked, looked online. Sweelide Melon. You found the first key, Telebar. I am impressed, for I was certainly thinking about it the wrong way. She runs through the blue, seemed to me to indicate a cloud in the sky, and for more, I was already on the wrong path. But these are the blue mountains. Ah, she runs through the blue. Okay, that makes sense, the blue mountains. Uh, so these are the blue mountains. If you remember one of their names, and from there, it is not as difficult. Baronin always saw things more simply than I did. I remember he would often chide me for overcomplicating things. This riddle of his seems a lesson now that I think on it. I wonder what is inside the boxes he left in my care when he sailed west. Two riddles remain, Telemar. Solve this one and we will be closer to discovering Baronin's legacy to me. Alright, next clue. Fierce goblins are remembered, but better still, 
a mighty swing. No man, he. Now this one actually makes a lot more sense. Uh, but again, unless you had already traveled to this location or had adventured there already on another character, you're going to be at a loss as to what he's talking about. And it will make sense when we get there. We're going to travel now. don't know if we can fast travel to you. from here. We cannot, so we gotta go down to Selendum. I have actually not been to the location we are traveling to on this character, so we're probably gonna have to take my horse instead of fast traveling. But, be that as it may, we're still going to get there eventually. And have a grand old adventure on the way. Alright, we are going to the Shire for the next part. How can I be upset? So we can swift travel to Mickle Delving. Now, because we have not explored the Shire on this character, we're gonna have to run up there on Good day. foot. I can ride to Hobbiton. No, I cannot. I haven't found it yet. Okay. So, let's head up to Hobbiton. If we're gonna grab horses along the way, we'll be able to get two of them. So the first one we're gonna grab is the Hobbiton horse. We're going to head overland to that location. Slightly quicker than taking the road. Through the beautiful realm of the Shire. Or as they say in Spanish, La Comarca. For those of you who are tuning in who speak Spanish, I would love to hear if there is interest in me doing Spanish versions of these videos or streams in Spanish. Porque es algo es algo interesante para mí, pero no sé si hay interés de la gente o no. Lo que pasa es yo no sé todas las palabras o todos los nombres, mejor, todos los nombres de cosas en el Señor de los Anillos. Por ejemplo, the Shire es la comarca, pero ¿cómo se llama Rangers? Like Striders a Ranger, ¿cómo se llama Rangers en Spanish? Oh, Falta vocabulario. And now I'm really interested. What what are Rangers called in Spanish? Forastres? I'm totally googling this right now. Explorador? No.
It looks like there's different versions here. Guardabosque. Explorador, Vagabundo. I don't like any of those. I thought it was something like Forest Forestero or something, but I, I guess I'm completely wrong. I swear because I know we've watched we've watched Lord of the Rings trilogy in Spanish before, my wife and I. And then we've watched it with dubs. And I know there's a word they use for rangers, and I just can't remember it now. No matter. We'll figure that out later. Alright, so the second riddle is fierce goblins are remembered, but better still, a mighty swing. So we're going to come up here, and you're going to come up to Brockenborn Just a moment. in the Shire. And then right up here from the horse stables is the statue of the old Took. Inventing golf with the head of a goblin. And that's the location of the second box. Collected Brennan's second key. Go straight back to Hobbiton from here. Okay, so I don't know what this is, but there is a word I was just looking up called uh, Monterraces, Los Monterraces del Norte, the Rangers of the North. Things that I investigate when I'm playing. <laughs> well, when you're on these long horse rides, you've got time to Google stuff and read up on things and investigate. Now I'm curious. Here we go back to Michael Delving. Now we can swift travel back to Erd Lewin. And I don't think, even if you had a hunter, I don't think it's, you know, hunter with you. I don't think it speeds this quest up that much. Because there's no fireplaces near where you're going. Um, but you would get the ports to specific destinations. So you might be able to shave a few minutes off your time if you had a, had a hunter with you. But I don't think it's that big of a deal.
fuck you do? Alright, back to selling them. How can I be of service? sold already which means I sold it for too cheap sold those for 10 silver a pop and somebody bought them for about 25 silver a pop because that was the buyout oh and so there's a lore master out there somebody there's a scholar somebody who's scholar who's buying up tier one and tier two stuff Continue to amaze me, Telamar. You are a more learned lore master than I, and that much is clear. On the movements of fire, perhaps, I could teach you something, but for the dissolving of riddles, you are far better than I. Beren was the same. He would often press, pose confusing entertainments for me to try and decipher, and I only managed to reveal the solutions on rare occasions. He was always on hand to provide hints when I stray too far from the heart of the matter, and his laughter at my confusion was always warm. There was no mockery in it. I had forgotten the sound of his laughter until now. One riddle remains, Telemar. Baron would be pressed with the untangling of the first two, I am sure of it. So, I, the third one makes no sense to me. The man left his horse so he could walk half a day towards the sun and half a day away from the sun. When he arrived, they couldn't close the window. This really makes no sense to me. I know where we're supposed to go because uh, of tutorials on the internet, but it's still, the riddle makes no sense to me. Maybe it'll make sense through the quest dialogue. Or when we arrive, but uh, yeah, I'm at a loss what this actually means. All right, from here, Melon. selling them again. And from here, we're going to go to Westbree. So we're going to the Forsaken Land. Or excuse me, the Forsaken Inn and the Lone Lands. I almost said Forsaken Lands. But we're going to the Lonely Inn. 
Oh my goodness, I messed that up again. We're going to the Forsaken Inn in the Lone Lands. Alright, so South what Breed. Do you need? And from here, we're gonna slow travel because it's the only option. What can I do for you? To the Forsaken Inn. Ooh, we can swift travel to Mickle Delvid from here. That's good to know. So, going to the Forsaken Inn. I'm still I'm rereading the text and I still don't get it. The man left his horse so he could walk half a day towards the sun and half a day away from the sun. When he arrived, they couldn't close the window. This has got to make more sense when we arrive. If it doesn't, hopefully the uh, quest giver is going to explain it to me a little more because I, for the life of me, don't think that I could figure this out based on the clues. I don't think I could have figured the first one out from the clues either. Second one... Yeah, second one's not too hard, but uh, these other two, oof. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lots of riding around, so I hope you've got a book or something. Or if you're like me, you're browsing Instagram and doing Google. I'm also playing Star Wars Heroes on my phone. to the Forsaken Inn, whose clue I still don't understand. I've mentioned it multiple times. It is slightly frustrating to me, but we're going to go into the inn and see if there's something that makes more sense. Here's the box, but again, makes zero sense to me. Absolutely none. Be that as it may, we've collected the third key here in the Forsaken Inn in the Lone Lands. I set it right this time, and now we're going to travel back to South Bree. We can fast travel there from... We'll see, we'll see. See where we can fast travel to. I think we go to Mickle Delvey, which would be quickest. Greetings. South Bree.
very least, it's beautiful scenery. You know what I should look at though, is see if I want to pick up that staff. What level is that staff? A level 30 staff. I don't know if I can make anything that's better than that. Um, I suppose I should take it. Use staff, even if I make the use staff of tactics. Yeah, I think I'm going to end up taking the staff <clears throat> because it is much better stat-wise. I still don't like the looks, but because uh, my brother can make cloaks. I can make stabs as well, but he's going to be making me a level a set of level 28 gear, I believe, uh, at some point. If not, I may just buy something off the broker. I've got the cash. All right. Now from here... We are going to. How can I be of service? Selendum, please. How can I be of service? Send me to the elf town. Turn this last one in to Isfron. This is the last key, Telemar, and now that we can open the three boxes that Baron left for me, I have stored them in a nearby cave for safekeeping cave I once explored with Baron long ago. The water on the walls made a sort of music, I remember, as it fell into pools on the floor, though the cave has been bare and dry now for many a year. You are a part of this now too, Telemar. Let me know if you are ready to go, and we can travel to the cave together, and together learn what secrets Baron has left behind. Are you ready to go? 
The cave is not far from here. We will learn what secrets Baron left in my care. The elf lawmaster Isferon received a gift from his friend Berenon before he passed over the sea. But the gift is wrapped in a riddle. Before the gift can be revealed, Berenon's puzzle must be solved. Let's get a screenshot here if we can. One with and one without UI. Hail, friend, and well met. I have the three keys at the ready. Let us see what secrets Baron left me when he sailed into the west. I am ready to see what Baron left behind, Telemar. I do not understand. The box is full of earth. There are small stones in the dirt. There's a letter inside the box. A letter from Baronin. Here's what the letter says. Hail, Isferon. Congratulations first on your success. It cannot have been easy to find someone to solve my riddles for you. <laughs> no, do not scowl. Written in jest and with love is for on. Why did I leave you these boxes? You must surely by now. You must understand by now, surely. To the first box, I placed a handful of earth. I wanted to remove the feel of that earth between my fingers forever. You will understand someday. Into the second box, I placed this letter. You refuse to speak with me today, but with this letter I can speak to you. The third box is empty, so I leave its contents up to you. When the time finally comes for you two to sail west, I have gone on too long. This then was my last gift to you, Isferon, though it is much as a gift for me. I wanted one last riddle game with you, Isferon. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you again. Goodbye, my friend. Hmm, that was interesting. Nay, Govani. I thank you, Telamar. I have learned more than I hoped to, and I feel it has made me richer than anything else could have. Let me know if you're ready to go, and we can return to Duilon. <laughs> I cannot thank you enough, Telamar. Hearing Baronin's words, you. excuse me. Hearing Baronin's words brought a joy to my heart that is not felt in too many years, and to better know his thoughts is the greatest secret your aid could have brought me. I am not as clever with words as you are, or as Baronin was, but with the dancing flames I am unmatched. Perhaps I can teach you some measure of knowledge in return for the joy you have brought to me, Telemar. It is not much, but I hope it will help you in your journeys. And I still think I'm taking the staff because I can go buy a cloak. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a lore master's will completed. And I don't care for the graphics on this staff, so I don't use that. I use my cosmetic staff, which is this one right here, which I will be replacing eventually. But uh, be that as it may, we have now acquired Amarthis, gained a class trait point, and we are now have a title called Nature's Fury. So hopefully you enjoyed the latest entry in the Lore Master Adventures throughout Middle Earth. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hit the bell icon to get updates for when new videos are available or when I go live streaming whatever it is I'm streaming, because I stream multiple times per week. Thanks again for your support, for your follows, for your comments and everything else. I will see everybody in the next episode. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and have fun gaming.